So this is data on how to make a chart in Word. And a lot of people struggle with how to set their chart up. So I'm going to take the data that was the different points at which we dropped the peg, or, or the different points as the peg was falling, and then their respective velocities. I'm not going to do the entire thing. I think that's enough to kind of show you what you need to see. So I'm going to go to Insert, and I'm going to insert a table. And if I know offhand how many rows and how many columns to do, that's great, but I can always change it later, and it's not a big deal. So I know I had five different points that I dropped from, and then I took two trials on the velocity and I had an average. So I'm going to have my five points, plus I'll include another one for kind of a, a title. And then I had velocity one, velocity two, and my average. And again, I may need to change this later. So I'm going to click there. And then I can change the size of these. So I can say here are my points. And this was point A and point B and point C and point D and point E. And generally when we make our charts, we orient them so that as we read across, we're reading the trials and we get to the average over here. Some of you are flipping the chart, so you have like A, B, C, D across the top and then you read the data down. Generally, we read across, so you want to get started with that. So then I can make these a little smaller too. I'm just dragging these lines over. I don't need those that big. And I can say this is my trial one, and this is my trial two, and this is my trial, oops, sorry, this is my average. Normally we'd have three trials, but remember in this lab as we were dropping the peg, we only did two trials each. So this is good, and now I can start to enter in my data. Um, so I can say obviously trial one for A was zero, because it wasn't moving yet, and this was zero, and this was zero. You, you, I think you understand how to enter the data. What's missing though is I have no title here. I'm telling you these were my points, but I have no title here telling me what all this data is and there's no units or anything. So this is where I actually did miscount and I want to add in a, um, a row. So I'm going to go, I'm going to click on my top row here, trial one. I'm going to say layout and right here it says insert above. I'm going to insert an entire row above. Now, what I'm going to do is I want to say what this data is here, but the data is the same whether it's trial one or trial two or average. They're all the velocity in meters per second. So what I'm going to do is what's called merge this cell. So I'm going to highlight these three cells and then right here also in the layout menu, I'm going to hit merge cell. And now I can write, if I want, I can even center it. I could go to home and I could center it and I can say velocity oops, of peg, and that was in meters per second. And then I know that that applies to all of this data down here. I'm actually still not done. I would need a trial, uh, I'm sorry, a title to this table. So I'm going to move this down a little, and then I'm just going to put my cursor here, and, and then I can say, you know, this table is um, the points of a, or, or maybe a better one would be the velocity, velocity of a falling peg at different points. And so then that's the title of my table, and then this is the table itself. So as usual, if you have questions, please feel free to include them on um, the comment section of YouTube and good luck making your tables.